Welcome to weekly Forex forecast from Forex Trading Wizard Academy. This is Forex Wizard, your trading coach. I will be doing a complete multi time frame analysis of all the hottest currency pairs, cryptocurrencies, and indices that you will be looking to trade next week. Now, the list is a bit longer, but don't worry, I will put a time stamp in the description area. But I'll suggest you to watch all of them. As you have seen in my past week weekly forex forecast, most of the pair did according to the analysis. Let me show you a quick clip from GBP USD analysis that I made past week. Now, if you look at the daily perspective, we see that the price has created a double top with a lower high and then the broken down. Now with that, now how the price section could do is what I think that the price will go up little retracement and then we could see from here a drop to this level of support. That, this is the GBP USD daily chart and this is what exactly I mentioned in my weekly analysis that GBP USD is likely to drop from this zone and the price did exactly as it is. It's a straight drop from this zone. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet. So with that being said, let's begin this week weekly forex forecast okay guys and guys so let's just start with first british pound us dollar as usual we will be first looking at the bigger picture and then we'll scale down to the lower time frame to see possible trading opportunity why because bigger pictures such as monthly weekly will give you a clear direction in the market removing all the noise from the lower time frame now on the monthly perspective you can see that british pound us dollar has created a monthly doji past month this is a monthly doji it's a strong doji and you can see that the price just broke this monthly doji to the upside as predicted in every week the price has broken down from this zone now to the downside and it is highly likely that it might continue drop further but as you can see that the price is approaching this monthly support we still have two weeks to go we might see a little bit of retracement to the upside on the monthly perspective now if you look at the weekly what we see that now on the weekly the price section is very very clear you have seen in my past week weekly forex forecast the price has created a lower high on the weekly perspective with a long week candles now what we see that british pound us dollar on the weekly has broken down as expected from this zone with a long bearish candle so what is likely to happen next now the price section is strongly bearish you can see that this is a long bearish price section. Now there are two possible scenarios now on the weekly perspective. As the price is below all this level of support zone, one possible scenario is just to drop from this zone after a little retracement drop. Another possible scenario is just gap opening with a drop and another possible scenario is just price to go up to test this important level of support here with this green candle as a resistance and then to drop so with that in mind now let's look at the daily time frame what's happening with british pound us dollar now daily price section is a little more clear what i think that as you can see that british pound us dollar has broken this very very important level of support here you see that with a gap opening on the daily time frame there is a big move happen here to the upside has broken this is a very very important area area of value with a gap opening and also there is a neckline of this double top formation has broken down so when you see a reverse pattern like this double top you can expect the price to go up and test this previous support as a resistance and then continue to drop so what i think that at some point early next week before creating a lower low we might see that gbp usd will go up to test this previous support here as a resistance if this is the case then the only way we will be trading on british pound usd on the retest of this previous neckline here as a resistance and then we'll consider shorting gbp usd from this important area of value with a high risk to reward ratio with our students and we will not consider short longing any because it's a long term bearish market going long is not always a good idea so let's look at now euro aud how it is doing a euro aud first of all as usual we'll be starting with the monthly time frame to see the bigger picture now in all our analysis we do the same as you know that a euro aud this is the monthly price section it's still almost two weeks to go but what we have seen that there is a strong bearish engulfer on euro aud this is a very very strong bearish engulfer and with that bearish engulfer what we have seen that after this kind of bearish engulfer normally we see a doji and this is looks like that the monthly doji is being formed on euro aud it looks like that euro aud creating a monthly doji so the price is there is still two weeks to go then what is likely to happen what i think that in the next week we might see a rise and then drop so let's look at now weekly perspective how it looks like now on the weekly we see that euro aud just been you know uh, created a nice looking pattern here you see that there is a strong red candle without knowing at the bottom 
followed by a weakness green candle from here to the upside and now euro AUD we see that it staying here but what I think that euro AUD might do on the weekly perspective we might see an uprise breaking this trend line here you see this is the weekly trend line has been created in euro AUD and from this zone we might see that euro AUD is breaking to the upside probably testing this 20 period moving average on the weekly perspective even we might see a possible head and shoulder in this zone testing this important level of support here with this dodgy or probably below this level and then we might see a drop so that could give us a nice looking dodgy on the monthly perspective so with that being said let's look at the daily time frame how it looks like now on the daily we see that euro AUD though it's a long term downtrend we might we have seen an inverted head and shoulder has been created on the daily time frame now what I think that euro AUD in the new trading week during this news announcement we might see a breakout to the upside as expected as we are mentioning on the weekly perspective might test this neckline as you can see that this is the neckline of this reversal pattern whenever you see this kind of pattern this is an order block zone you can see there is a lot of institutional order in this level and we might see that this level this previous support here okay will be tested as resistance and then we might see that euro AUD is dropping down with that being said we will be waiting for a potential breakout to the upside if that's the case because it's a probability always keep in mind trading is if it happens to the upside then that could be a very very hot zone for us to for potential shorting opportunity on euro AUD with our students with a high risk to reward ratio on the other hand if we see that euro AUD is respecting this trend line and creating a bearish price section then we'll be looking for a potential shorting opportunity even from this zone based on the price section to the downside with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at gbp chf as you have seen the gbp chf last day of trading with the analysis came incredibly correct now what we see first of all let's look at the bigger picture on the monthly perspective gbp chf now gbp chf what we see that this is a long term uh bearish market structure you can see that this is uh, the price is a long term consolidation on the monthly perspective creating a series of lower high and lower low so this is the, the price section that we see on the monthly zone on gbp chf and as you can see that if you draw a trend line here on on the monthly perspective on gbp chf we see there is a big drop now this current monthly candle is not closed yet what i think that gbp chf might drop a little further to the downside after a retracement now if you look at the weekly perspective we see that the price already tested this in, there is a breakdown from here as expected in the previous weekly forex forecast and then we have seen that the price tested this previous support zone here as a resistance with this long week candle this is the previous support zone here as a resistance and we see a rejection so what is likely to happen on gbp chf what i think that as you can see there is nothing at the bottom that means that we might see another rise up on gbp chf probably will create a lower high along this zone another retest of this previous support here as a resistance or even a higher low or lower high in this zone and we might see a drop from this zone to the downside on the weekly perspective now daily time frame if you look at that we see that on the daily the price already created a bearish price section there is a green candle here now we see another level on the daily time frame there is a probability for this price to drop from here or even to go up to test this zone and drop from here so these are the two zones that we will be waiting for a potential shorting opportunity on gbp chf based on the lower time frame with our students with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at gbp jpy let's see what kind of price section we have now monthly perspective on gbp jpy what do you see that um, monthly long term it is a bullish market you can see that the price has created this kind of pattern. there's an impulse followed by this correction and consolidation impulse followed by this correction and consolidation so this gbp jpy market is monthly perspective is bullish now if you look at the weekly time frame what do you see that gbp jpy was creating a, a series of lower high on the weekly time frame and has created a dodgy in this zone so this is a is a, it's a strongly bearish market now but what i think that in this zone it is bearish but long term it is a bullish market you see there is an impulse now this is like a bull flag okay so this is like a bull flag here and on that bull flag what we might see gbp jpy to break to the upside again so with that in mind 
on the bigger picture we could see a push to the upside but what i think that on the only if we consider the weekly candle we might see another dodgy on gbp jpy so to do that if we look at the daily time frame as you see that in in other pairs gbp looks like a little bit bullish but as you know that yen might be a little bit stronger so with that in mind what we could see gbp jpy going up test this 20 period moving average on the daily time frame and then dropping and then going up probably will consolidate in this zone and creating a weekly dodgy candlestick so based on how the price section is forming we will decide our trading decision as this market on the daily time frame we can't see a clear direction which way the market might move during the week so we will be observing price section on the four hour time frame for a potential shorting or longing opportunity based on how the price section is forming looks like that here is bearish and we might see a drop and then rise so we'll be waiting to see how the price section is forming and i will update during the week time now let's look at aud chf now, aud chf first of all as usual we'll look at the bigger picture monthly time frame now on the monthly this is what i exactly mentioned in all my analysis you see that there is a long dodgy here on the monthly perspective with a long week at the top on aud chf now with that monthly dodgy we see that this month the price went up around created a lower high on the monthly perspective and then we see a rejection so that means that this is a long term bearish now you see every month the price was creating a series of lower high and then the previous month the price created another dodgy with a rejection from the top created a lower high so with that in mind AUD CHF on the monthly still looks like bearish as you can see the lower part of this monthly week has not been tested yet now looking at the weekly we see that there is a strong bearish angle from this structure on the weekly perspective so what i think that we see that there is important liquidity zone here there's a previous support here acting as resistance also there is a liquidity zone here so what i think that if you look at the daily time frame we we see that on the daily as well the price has created a double dodgy with a lower high on the daily time frame on aud chf so in the new trading week what i think that AUD CHF probably will come to this zone on the daily perspective create a lower high again or even a higher low test this previous support zone here with this green candle as a resistance and from this zone we could potentially see that AUD CHF is dropping to the downside and that is what we will be doing we will be waiting for a potential shorting opportunity in this zone with our students with a high risk to reward ratio probably we will see a potential head and shoulder after a push to the upside on the on this four hour time frame and then we could potentially look for a shorting opportunity from this zone with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at aussie dollar how it is doing now aussie dollar as usual we'll be looking the monthly time frame now we see that on the monthly perspective aussie dollar uh, this is a long-term bearish market this current month what we have seen that after the previous month's rejection from this very very important level of support strong rejection this month as expected the price went above to this important zone and from this zone of seller we have seen a strong rejection this is the monthly candle and what i think that this price will drop further down probably will create at least 50 percent retracement of this long week on the monthly uh, if we draw this level what we can expect aussie dollar to drop to this level on the monthly which can give us a really good trading opportunity on the lower time frame weekly perspective there is a long weekly bearish and golf there is a fake move this is the weekly fake move you see the liquidity grab and the drop that's a sign of a big move in the future but as you can see that there is a long red candle here so that means that we might see at some point a retracement probably will create a potential head and shoulder and then will drop so how the movement might happen to me is that you see that there is a green candle here and the bottom of this candle is where the support level is on the weekly perspective so what i think that the price primarily might go up a little bit test this zone and then could drop and then could rise again so that could be the wave of the weekly candlestick now daily perspective this is where i see that the potential uh, opportunity on the daily time frame you see that there is a big drop happen so what i think that there is one probability the price will do a slow retracement and then will drop so that can give us a really good shorting opportunity on aussie dollar in the primary phase so if you look at the four hour we see that there is already a structure has been created strong structure drop structure drop structure drop so we see that aussie dollar might go up a little bit test this zone and then we could see that aussie dollar 
is dropping down so with that being said from this zone uh, we will be waiting for a potential shorting setup if it satisfy all the rules of our strategies we'll consider shorting aussie dollar with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at cad jpy on the monthly perspective we see that cad jpy on the monthly there is a strong rejection from the bottom here you can see the very strong rejection to the upside now what we see that cad jpy there is it's a long term bullish market it's a strong impulsive move to the upside on cad jpy followed by this uh, long week candle here you see this is the long week candle on the uh, monthly perspective on cad jpy so this is a long term bullish market and what i think that cad jp will continue to go up as this is a long term bullish market and it will continue to rise on the monthly perspective i think so now looking at the weekly we see that on the weekly this is a very look nice looking bullish price section you can see every week the price was creating a series of high low except the previous week the price has broken the previous week's low and then closed as a pin bar so what i think that cat jpy might do is it might on the new new trading week we might see after a little retracement or no retracement we could see a bullish move and then we might see a drop so in the in the first a uh, few days on the trading week we might see bullish move on cad jpy daily perspective the price already has created kind of bullish pattern you see that this is a, it's a inverted head and shoulder and bullish pattern so what i think after a little retracement probably to this zone this previous resistance uh, support from this zone also you see this is the acted as here as support resistance and resistance and we might see after retracement to this zone on the daily we could see a bullish move and this is where i will be waiting for a potential bullish setup on cad jpy from this zone to the upside with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at chf jpy now chf jpy like the cad jpy same kind of setup but looks like that chf jpy might be a little bit strongly bullish than cad jpy why why if you look at the structure here uh, on the daily perspective you see that cat jpy has created first of all look at this trend here okay this is the channel here on the daily time frame on uh, chf jpy and this is the doji here you see this is the previous resistance here resistance here resistance here resistance here and on the daily we see a long week candle and what i think that on the daily new trading with the price price might retrace to this level okay will test this previous resistance at this level is broken as a support and then we could see a bullish price section on the lower time frame that is what i will be doing on cat chf jpy is we'll be waiting for a potential bullish setup from this zone with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at aud and zd now aud and zd let's first look at the bigger picture monthly now monthly perspective we see that aud and zd basically it's a overextended market quite a few months we have seen a strong rise and up and up so at this point the price is overextended what i think that aud and zd might come for a deeper retracement on the on this market so monthly we see bullish but we might see some drop let's look at the weekly perspective what's happening with this one now on the weekly we see that the price basically grabbed a lot of liquidity broke this level here and then we have seen that a bullish move now there this is a contradictory information as you have seen that on the monthly we could see drop but on the weekly we see that this is a bullish price section okay so one thing we need to keep in mind is that we might see some manipulation what i think that a ud and zd might go up a little bit and then could drop immediately because this is an overextended market and we might see drop but at the same time we need to because the candle is close candle has closed above this resistance level on the weekly you can see that so we might see that cad uh, aud and zd might test this zone and go up so if you look at the daily time frame we see this candlestick uh, pattern of what i think that aud and zd you see there is a long candle has been formed on the uh, daily perspective on aud and zd and from this zone what i have i i think that aud and zd might after going up a little bit might drop down again 
on the new trading week and maybe probably from this zone we could see bullish move but in the first place we might see a drop so this is what i will be doing on the lower time frame on the such as on the four hour is you have seen there is a is, is a gap opening as well so if i see that there is a this loop if it is a fake move then i will take this advantage for shorting a ud and zd from this zone to the downside with a high risk to reward issue on the other hand if i see that a ud and zd is creating a bullish structure here then probably we will consider going long based on how the price action is creating in this zone that's i will keep you updated during the week or during the live streaming so now let's look at dxy how it is doing now starting with the monthly time frame as usual now dxy on the monthly we see that the price basically it's it's a long term bullish market you can see that the past month there is a, a, a textbook shooting star on dxy okay this is a shooting star in an important this support level you can see this is a very important level of resistance acted as support and we see that dxy basically penetrated the bottom of the monthly you see that penetrated this important level of support grab the liquidity and then we have seen that dxy has started to go up so with that in mind what i think that dxy is setting up for a bigger move that means that we might see a shorting on the other usd pair so with that in mind dxy monthly bullish weekly perspective we see a bullish angle for on the weekly but what i think that dxy as you can see it's residing all this uh, above it's a strong full body green bullish engulfer what i think that you see this level this resistance is broken so one possible scenario is opening with a gap and then continue to go up another possible scenario is after going up a little bit coming down back to test this previous neckline of this double bottom here and then from this neckline of this double bottom we could potentially see that the price is going up from this zone and this is what we will be doing on the daily perspective on uh, dxy i will be interested on buying from this zone if it reaches to this level as you can see on the daily time frame there is an inverted head and shoulder double bottom there is a neckline previous resistance here resistance here if it test as a support from this zone we will consider going long on dxy with a high risk to reward issue with our students Okay, so let's look at now EuroCAD, what it is doing. Now EuroCAD, let's first of all, as usual, we'll be looking at the bigger picture on the monthly time frame, like all other instruments. Now starting with the monthly EuroCAD, we see that EuroCAD basically, without any question, it's in a strong downtrend. You see the price was creating a series of lower high and lower low and then dropping towards the downside on EuroCAD. Now you can see that this current monthly candle, first of all, retrace up to certain level and then drop, right? But what ultimately this eurocat might do is that it might come back to this level why because you see there is a very very strong dodge here and if the price come here there is a high probability that there will be a big sell will happen from here because you see this in this monthly movement there is only one dodge that has not been tested as a as a resistance which is high probability the price will go and test this one but the question is when it will go now let's look at the weekly time frame how the price action has formed now on the weekly you see that the price basically on the weekly time frame there is a there is a strong drop followed by this bearish price section has formed uh, this is the weekly bearish candle but what i think that euro cad and, and the cad is getting stronger uh, we might see further drop at some point we might see feel that imbalance you know, this is the imbalance in the market so with that in mind on the weekly perspective we see that euro cad is bearish now daily daily time frame we see that the price has created an um, nice looking bearish price action you see that there is a pardon me there is a nice looking bearish structure here this is a bearish price action followed by the last previous day of trading week we saw a strong red bearish engulfer okay so with that bearish engulfer followed by this dodgy what we can expect now euro cad to go up probably will test this high of the dodgy probably will create a lower high or probably will go and tell this 20 period moving average and then to drop so this is the zone that you will be considering for pos possible shorting on eurocad is this is the zone on the daily week of this dodgy for a potential shorting on eurocad to the downside with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at euro chf now euro chf and eurocad almost a similar kind of price section you can see that on the daily there is a middleman has been created and what i think that 
on the daily time frame after a little retracement euro chf might continue to drop as you can see on the monthly it's a strongly bearish on the weekly also there is a bearish and the price tested this important resistance here so this is the weekly candle and if we see this weekly opening and closing zone on euro chf um, on the daily time frame we see that the price basically this is the zone that i'm expecting that euro chf will go ahead and test this resistance and then to drop uh, with and uh, if this is the case then in there from that zone we'll consider shorting on euro chf with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at euro gbp how it is doing now we'll be looking at the bigger picture first euro gbp on the monthly we see that this is a this is a there is a liquidity grab on the monthly this tail is basically grab the liquidity from the top and what we see that euro gbp this is a channel that was uh, respecting euro gbp on the top and on the bottom and what we see the price basically now above this channel and at, at any point after retest of this zone we could see that euro gbp is dropping so what we might see on the monthly perspective we might see a little bit up price what i think that probably will come to this 20 period moving average and then will create uh, another lower high and then we'll have a big drop so with that in mind let's leave this level here on the monthly perspective and looking at the weekly we see that there is a dodgy on the weekly and you can see that this long week on the dodgy on the weekly has not been tested yet the price create a series of lower high and then on the daily perspective if we look at what i think that euro gpp might do is we'll probably will go up after some time we'll test this important zone there is a long week here and then from this zone we could potentially see that euro gbp is dropping and that's the case we will be this is our plan for euro gbp to look for potential short setup probably on this trend line on the lower time frame with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at euro jpy now euro jpy as usual we'll be looking at the bigger picture monthly it's a long term bullish no doubt about it but what do you see that the price the previous month has a strong rejection now the price is approaching a zone where there is a sellers available now if you look at this long week let's draw a level here and what i think that the price might go up further create a lower high and then we could see that euro jpy is dropping now weekly perspective the price already has created a candle now this price section here on this zone is a little bit of bearish you see that back to back two dodge with a lower high and lower low that means that what it might do on the new trading week is euro jpy probably will go around test this zone on the first move okay on the on the lower time frame and then will come back down probably will create a higher low and then might go up to test this so this could be the way for euro jpy on the daily perspective what i think that the price might come down here as i told you this, this is the this could be the way so we might see on the daily time frame let's let's make it simply sim make it simple let me go to the daily time frame and what is what i'm i think that euro jpy might do is that we might see first of all after going up a spike down and then going up okay so in that case what i will be doing is i will be observing price section like the gj like euro j also not fully predictable how the market will move as this is a sideways market but if that's the case th this is the plan that we have and we'll wait for a potential setup for a long opportunity from here or a short opportunity from here based on how the current price section will be created in the new trading week so i will keep you updated during the week in this instrument as well so let's look at now euro dollar how it is doing starting with the monthly time frame now euro dollar on the monthly this is a long term bearish price section you can see that let's draw an important level of resistance here on the euro dollar this is this green candle on the monthly has given us a very strong resistance uh, this is a very very strong move on the monthly time frame as you can see it's a long term bearish market there is a monthly support zone here this support might act as a resistance acted as a resistance and we have seen a strong rejection now, what i think that euro dollar might come a little bit down and then might go up again so with that in mind if we look at the weekly you see that this is the weekly price section and it's a very very strongly bearish on euro dollar so what i think if if dxy gets stronger then euro might even straight drop from here with a gap opening so this is this could be one scenario another scenario is uh, as you can see that there is a previous uh, support here on the green candle we might see that euro dollar is going up to test this previous support as resistance and then might continue to drop so if you look at the daily perspective this is where what i will be waiting like the gbp usd best setup for me is for the price to go up and test this zone 
go up create a healthy retracement test this previous support as resistance and what i'll see this setup here then i'll be considering shorting euro dollar again like this week we did with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at nzd usd how it is doing now nzd usd you can see that this is the price section that has created like all other instrument looks like that strongly bearish monthly perspective we see that there's a very very strong drop on the monthly you can see that an nzd usd from this zone and this is the monthly candle and this is a long term bearish market so it is highly likely that nzd usd will continue to drop so let's let's see what happened on the weekly perspective in this in this instrument now looking at the weekly we see that nzd usd like the euro dollar gbp usd this is a very very strong bearish candle has been formed so what i think the new trading week first move we might see a gap opening and drop like all other usd pairs the other possibility is for the price to go up a little bit even after gap opening probably will go up test this important support as resistance and then to drop so on the daily perspective what i think that nzd usd might go up for retracement to this level or even to this 20 period moving average and then we could potentially see a sell setup and that is what i will be doing it's a long term bearish market only selling is a good idea so i'll be waiting for a potential selling opportunity on nzd usd from this zone with a high risk to reward ratio with our students now let's look at gbp aud how it is doing now starting with the monthly time frame what do you see the gbp aud on the monthly this is the monthly candle it's a strongly bearish market Okay. so you see that there is a strong breakdown followed by this consolidation and deceleration now we see that gbp aud is dropping again on the monthly but the price is below this level of support now let's see on the weekly how it is doing now on the weekly like the euro dollar we could see the price is going up again on the weekly perspective probably i think that the price will test this dodgy zone here let's draw a level here in this zone with this 20 period moving average we might see that gbp aud dropping from here so with that in mind if you look at the daily time frame we see that gbp aud has a strong bearish price section followed by this dodgy here on the daily time frame and what we can expect on gbp aud probably will go up and test this zone and then to drop so this is what i will be expecting on gbp aud the price to go up and test this zone as soon as we will find this setup we will consider shorting on gbp aud with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at gold now as you have seen in my past week quite a few we have secured back to back two profitable trade on gold as you have seen in my live streaming and in all my analysis now the price did exactly according to the analysis now let's look at a bigger picture first what might do on gold and then we'll look at how it might do now gold you see that there is a, a candle that is a bearish now this is the monthly candle as soon as this monthly opened we have seen that uh, gold has gone up to this important level of resistance and we see that the price is rejecting now if we draw an important resistance on this monthly opening and closing we see the price when this important zone and rejecting means that we could potentially see further drop on gold as this long week zone has not been tested yet on the monthly perspective we might see a drop now weekly zone we see that this is what exactly i mentioned in my weekly forex workers that the gold is likely to drop on the weekly and the price did exactly as it is with a full body red with a bearish and gold up on the weekly time frame now you see that the price basically tested this previous uh, support zone on the weekly as a resistance and we see that the price is dropping now so with that in mind where we can expect now next possible scenario on gold what i think that gold might drop further so one possible scenario is that as you know the dollar getting stronger we might see that in the first move if the gold drop to this level this this dodgy is where the previous neckline of this move we might see first might drop to this level and then we might see a bounce and then drop so that could be the whip so this could be the next uh, resistance for gold this one or this one now let's look at how this resistance will will, will play in this in this market now looking at the daily time frame we see that on the daily time frame these, these are the two levels that i will be waiting for a potential shorting now this is the level that i am expecting gold probably will come to this zone first and then it might go to this zone or might go to this zone and then could drop again so this is the zone that i will be waiting for a potential short setup on gold as this is the premium support resistance and also there is a support here 
as a resistance and if you take your Fibonacci this is the, on the daily time frame there is a big move happen and we can expect how the retracement take our Fibonacci from the high to the low and these two zone basically is an important Fibonacci level as you can see that so with that in mind we could potentially see either gold is dropping from this zone to the downside or from this zone to the downside and these are the two zones we will be watching price section for a potential shorting opportunity on gold with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at nzd cat how it might do now nzd cat like all other instrument is strongly bearish so let's let's look at the monthly first of all we see that there is a strong rejection from the monthly top this is the monthly candle and what i think that it might come down a little bit further and then could rise up again so if you see that the previous monthly doji here so we might see around let's say 50 percent of this monthly doji drop to this level and then we could see a rise so with that in mind if we look at the weekly on nzd cat this is a very very strong bearish engulfer so what i think that it's a, it's a weekly candle we might see in the first move the price coming down and then going up on weekly perspective uh, if we look at the daily time frame in that case we see that daily the price basically has created this very very important level of support zone here so with this doji and what i think that um nzd cad might create this level this zone here you see this is the previous support here support here support here now and also this is a resistance here resistance here so these two zone might act as a resistance and from this zone we could see that nzd cad is dropping so this is the zone that we will be waiting for a potential short setup on nzd cad to the downside with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at nzd chf how it is doing now on zd chf you can see that there is a, a, a considerable head and shoulder has been created on nzd chf on the daily time frame and there is a significant level of support on the daily perspective on nzd chf and what we will be doing is the same we will be waiting for a potential retracement to the to this level uh, to this daily support zone that I can act as a resistance and from this zone we will consider shorting nzd chf with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at silver now as you need it, know that silver normally follows the gold so the same way will not do the full analysis on silver this is the previous neckline of the silver on this daily time frame we'll consider for a potential uh, retracement to this level and then potential shorting on silver on the test of this previous support on the daily time frame as a resistance and then we'll consider shorting on silver from this zone with a high next to reward ratio with our students so now let's look at usd cat how it is doing now usd cat to me is now very very strongly bullish now let's first look at the bigger picture monthly now monthly perspective you see that usd cat is long term bullish you can see that the price was creating a series of higher low on the monthly time frame and we have seen this current month after the previous month shooting and start the price has broken this level and then started to rise so what i think that the price might go up a little more further to the upside as you can see that this is the possible monthly resistance on resistance on usd cad and what i think that the price might go a little further weekly perspective we see that this is the weekly uh, bullish engulfer has been formed on usd cad it's a very very strong bullish engulfer with uh, a neckline here and also you see that on the weekly the price if you look at the overall market structure on usd cad this is a long-term bullish market you see this is the channel has been created every time the price was creating a series of higher low including this one and we have seen that you see this is the last weekly close it's a very very strong bullish engulfer now with that bullish engulfer the price basically uh, has crossed this neckline here so there are two neckline one is here let's draw a level the other one is here so these two are the two levels that we can expect usd cad to test and go up now looking at the daily time frame we see that the price basically either will respect this one and will go up or respect this one and possibly will go up or even test this one as well so let's draw all this level on the daily perspective and if you look at the four hour time frame this is where we'll be considering longing probably this zone will be the best place for longing on usd cad after considerable retracement to the downside from this zone we'll consider uh, looking for a bullish setup with our students with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at usd chf now as you can see that usd chf and usd cad 
both are same kind of bullish price action you see the price was uh, moving in a trend with a series of higher high and higher low you see this is a nice looking bullish price section on usd chf if you look at the daily time frame we see that the price is, is a, a very very strongly bullish market you see this is a bullish market on usd chf and what i think that the price probably will create a potential inverted head and shoulder and then will go up so with that in mind if we consider this bottom of this green candle that could be a nice looking support for this inverted head and shoulder on usd chf and on the four hour time frame this is what i will be waiting for a potential a bullish price section in this zone probably testing of this 20 period moving average will give us a nice looking bullish setup on ULG CHF on the test of this previous resistance as support and if this is the case then we will be considering going long on ULG CHF with our students with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at dollar yen how it is doing the dollar yen if we look at the monthly uh, it's a very very strongly bullish uh, long term bullish you can see that every month the price was creating a series of higher high and higher low now weekly perspective we see that usd uh, dollar yen every week if you look at this this is a nice looking bullish setup you can see that the price was creating a series of higher low on or if you look at the bottom of this weekly candle and there is a possible neckline of this double bottom and what i think that usd dollar yen will do on the new trading after going up coming down and then might go up and might create a dodgy even from this zone so with that in mind on the daily time frame on the opening we might see an up price and then possible retracement to this neckline of this inverted head and shoulder and this is the main confluence zone that i will be waiting for a longing opportunity on dollar yen as this is a long term bullish market going long is always a good idea and this is the zone that i will be waiting for a potential bullish setup on dollar yen with our students with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at usd zar and usd zar and let's as usual look at the monthly time frame for the bigger picture now usd zar on the monthly this is also a bullish market as you can see that the price grabbed liquidity from the previous monthly low and setting up for a big move to the upside but as you can see this is the monthly resistance coming up we might see a little deeper retracement this week as you can see on the weekly there is a bullish engulfer this bullish engulfer is a textbook uh, bullish engulfer on this 20 period moving average on the previous uh, important level of sub resistance acted as a support so this is the resistance here resistance here acted as a support created this bullish engulfer now with that bullish engulfer what i think that the price this week might create a dodgy might go up first a little bit and then come down and then might go up so the, it might create a, a dodgy on the uh, weekly perspective now to create that dodgy on the weekly we might see on the daily that uh, USD ZAR probably coming back to this neckline this is the zone that we are expecting so what I think that the price might come for a deeper retracement to this zone on the daily probably we will we'll test this 20 period moving average and then we will go up so if this is the case if the price really retraced to this level which is I am expecting in that case we will consider going long on USD ZAR with a high risk to reward ratio now let's look at us oil now you have seen in my previous weeks analysis us oil exactly dropped from where i have expected now what i think that let's this is the daily chart let's look at the monthly first of all now monthly us oil basically just primarily bounced from the monthly support what i think that it might have another drop as it didn't test this monthly support properly yet now looking at the weekly we see that on the weekly this is a, a another strong bearish price section why because if you look at the weekly price section it's a strong downtrend there is a an invert there is a head and shoulder here you can see this is the head and shoulder and all the time this prediction came true this is the support here acted as a resistance has broken down with this red candle now with this uh, dodgy here you see this is a nice looking um, bearish price section followed by we see there is a the narrow candle formed here on the uh, weekly perspective on us oil and then this this long week you can see that there is a long week at the bottom healthy body here so we might see what i think that us oil will do on the lower time frame after retracement retracing a little bit it might come back down again even to create a new lower low so if you look at the daily we see already a dodgy has been created on the daily time frame testing this 20 period moving average now this 20 period moving average in the past you can see that acting as a dynamic resistance so what i think that in the new trading week probably will respecting this resistance on the daily time frame 
uh, if you look at the four hour we could see that there is already a doji here and i think that us oil might go up a little bit test this zone and then will continue to drop so this is the zone that i will be expecting for a retest of this doji zone here and from this zone i will be considering potential shorting on us oil with a high risk to reward issue with our students now let's look at um, ethereum uh, usd let's and btc usd the cryptocurrencies then you look at the indices that we'll look at next so first of all let's look at uh, btc uh, bitcoin how it is doing starting with the monthly we see that monthly perspective btc uh, there is a strong drop on this instrument on the monthly time frame we see that this is what exactly mentioned in all my analysis as i mentioned before also that you see on the monthly there has been a strong move on btc usd if you look compare the bullish candle the previous one it's a very very narrow and as a result after this month's uh, break of the previous month's high we have seen a strong drop on uh, btc usd now weekly perspective we see that there is a strong bearish engulfer has been formed on the weekly time frame on btc usd now with that weekly bearish engulfer what we can see that btc usd this is the weekly candle is closing after one day what i think the price will go up a little bit test and we might see another drop as this is a long term bearish after retracement we can expect further drop on btc usd a daily perspective we see that the price already has a strong drop and has broken this daily trend line you see this is the daily trend line has broken and what i think that btc usd might go up a little further retracement probably to the zone and then we could see a drop so this is what we will be expecting for btc usd for a possible retracement probably testing this daily trend line here see so this is the previous uh, daily trend line previous uh, support here support here okay. support here uh, testing as resistance and then we can expect for dropping or even we could see a drop from this zone based on how the price section is doing so we are expecting a drop on btc usd if we see suitable price action along this zone, then we'll be considering shorting BTC USD again with a high risk to reward issue with our students. Now, Ethereum USD on the daily perspective, the same kind of setup, just a little bit of different in price action. We see that we will look for potential shorting opportunity on Ethereum USD from this zone uh, to the downside with a high risk to reward ratio. So these are the two uh, indices that we will uh, cryptocurrencies that we we'll look at now let's look at indices us 30 and us 100 now if we look at this us 30 and us 100 first of all let's look at us 30 now us 30 first let's look at us 100 now this is the trade that we have just closed on the on the during the trading week as you have seen in my live stream that us 100 basically has broken down from here when the price was creating this price section you remember in the live stream also i have posted this trade signal and we secured a good profit on this one probably if you were in live stream you have secured that too now us 100 let's see now what it might do on the bigger picture starting with the monthly this is what i mentioned in my analysis that on the monthly us 100 is in an important level of resistance this is the resistance here you see that there is a strong rejection from this resistance here okay so us 100 this is the resistance Okay, this is the acted as a support and what we could see that from this monthly resistance we could see that a drop on us 100 and this is what happened now at this point what we could see let's look at the weekly and then we'll see now, on the weekly perspective the price is bearish you see there is a strong move happen followed by this rejection now what i think that you see that there is a there is a pattern here at least we can expect the price to come test this neckline this previous support here resistance here to test as a support and then probably will create another bullish move so with that in mind on the daily perspective we still have a bearish probability for us 100 you see that so the, you see that on the daily there is a strong bearish candle has been formed so where is the next move might happen is that one possible scenario is opening with a gap and continue to drop another possible scenario the high probability is that the price will go up and test this previous resistance support here as resistance and then to drop so if you look at the four hour time frame again what we see that uh, what i will be waiting for a potential uh, retracement to the upside probably with a slow retracement or any kind of retracement best will be to test this previous support zone here as a resistance and probably will create a lower high with this one and then 
to drop so if this is the case then we'll be shorting us 100 again from this zone to this level with a high risk to reward issue with our students so now let's look at uh, us 30 now us 30 you can see the same kind of setup same kind of price section the only difference is that us 100 look a little bit of bearish than us 30 now this is the previous support zone here on us 30 will be considering for a potential shorting from this zone on us 30 uh, if we see that the price retraced to this level this previous support will be tested as resistance and if we, we potentially see a lower high and then we'll consider shorting us 30 again with a high risk to reward issue with our students now these are the cryptocurrencies currencies and indices that we will be actively watching in addition to this we will be looking for more opportunities i sincerely believe that you enjoyed this weekly forex forecast if you enjoy don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to smash the like button if you want to trade with me with our students on on gold us 30 and any made all the major currencies cryptocurrencies and indices you can find in the link in the description area you can visit the website to see possible opportunity to, to join thank you for watching i'll see you soon in my next analysis